Hello, this is Broer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Railway Empire. Continuing our run here, having some fun with the trains and stuff. Obviously, we were playing Railroad Corporation not that long ago. Uh, Railroad Corporation 2 is coming out someday. Railway Empire 2 is already out, and I've actually been watching a few videos of people playing it. And there's definitely some cool differences between that game and this version of the game. But I think we're going to play through this version of the game for a little bit. And then maybe eventually I might, if, if Railway Corporation 2 hasn't come out yet, we might try out Railway Empire 2, something like that. We'll play around with it. I'm having fun with trains, though, in general. Uh, and I have done a little bit more research. I think I got a little bit of under better understanding of how to set up kind of the switches and the train lines and things like that. So we'll see if I've learned anything or not. I'm sure I've learned something, but probably not enough. We'll find out. Uh, but overall, I think we're doing all right. Um, one thing that I did read about, is, or at least that exists in Railway Empire 2, is these gridirons here. It's effectively what this is, except it doesn't actually have the gridiron over the top of it. It's more of a, cro it's just a crossing for us. But in Railway Empire 2, they actually have those by default called gridirons. Um, Are you happy? I got you an article in the newspaper. And I think the gridiron is more of not only just the cross, but also the little, you know, thing that goes over the top of it tells you which line to go down and stuff like that. So this is really just a simple version. Uh, so it's not a true gridiron, but uh, it's kind of that, that idea is what this is. So something I learned a little bit about, I suppose. So having those little crossings everywhere we can is obviously an important aspect of this version of the game. Uh, another thing that we need to learn about is the platforms. Uh, we basically have to set up our trains to go to different platforms individually based on uh, kind of demand of those platforms and things like that. So we'll play around with a lot of that as time goes by. But for now, we are we're doing all right. So what do we actually have to do at the moment? We have some research we could pick up. We wanted to grab the train whistle. You know. Four passengers, why not? And then um, we do have some personnel. And what is our actual tasks? Connect Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Okay, well, we are at Baltimore here. Pittsburgh is over there. Oh, that's right. That's right. We were trying to make some money so we could dig through the tunnel. Because there's not really an easy way to get through there without going through the tunnel. So we're kind of trying to make a little bit of money right now. I don't know how easy that's going to be. So that we can get that going. Uh, connect Baltimore and Toledo. Uh, Toledo is where? Toledo is over this way, right? Yeah, we're over there. Um, so that's pretty far. Once we get to Pittsburgh, we can get to Toledo. Uh, reached population of 100,000 in Baltimore. We're currently growing. And we are currently sitting at 65,000 and growing, which is good. So we're making some progress towards that. Buy 20% shares in a competitor. I have not really dealt with that that much. Uh, where is that under? Totally forget where the money stuff is under. Oh, it's over... Here, isn't it? Somewhere. There's the stock market. You get bonds. Yeah, okay. I think it has to do with the trading, the company shares, and stuff like that. So I think we can get... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought there was something like that. Cool. Um, Achieve a company value... 20 million. Goodness. We're actually, I'm surprised we have a value of 33 million right now. And then optionals connect 10 rural businesses. We can do that. And then buy one of our competitor companies we can also work towards that but right now we're trying to make some money so we will let's go ahead and speed the game speed up just two game speeds yes it is connection bonus oh that's right there is a connection bonus over here for uh oh it expires today so never mind we just missed that unfortunately that's okay what do we got down here bonus for new industry 123,000 bucks so if we bought a new industry in washington which i don't know if we have the money for we do not we could get a little bit of money back so if we get by like a meat industry or something which feels a little silly because there's already meat in the in the network um, honestly, something like the beer wouldn't be bad because we can get grain. It's actually probably our best bet is buying the brewery because we've already got grain hooked up to our network currently. Or the dairy farm if we had the money for that, but we don't. So yeah, we can save up 200k. We'll probably buy the, uh, the brewery. Can we get that? What's the date? December 17th. So we've only got a couple months to get 200k. We could take out a loan or a bond, I should say. Uh, which was that? Was that here? Okay, get us a bond. I mean, if we're going to do something like this, I'd want to go with like a pretty low interest rate. But we don't currently have the money for that. Um, I mean, we'll bid just to say we bid, but I'm not going to go crazy here. I don't think. Oh, no, it looks like one of your trains has a problem. Just free tech. So you won the auction. 
but what are you going to do with it now? Well, we're going to make some money off of it, hopefully. Um, One of our trains has problems, huh? Did they just break us down on themselves, or is that... Oh, it's actually just a full breakdown of with the grain coming in here. Now, I did learn a little bit about warehouses. Now, again, the warehouses I was learning about was related to Railway Empire 2. I don't know how much of an impact that, or how, what that has in relation to Railway Empire 1, if it's a similar type of thing, where essentially the way warehouses were going to work is if I wanted to get grain to, like, say, Washington, I could set up a warehouse here in Baltimore that accepts grain, and then just naturally over time, the grain will get to Washington, right? Without us having to set up an explicit line between Collins Estate and Washington. So something like that could work really well for us. We shall see. Yeah, we, wait, we can pause. Oh, no, we can only pause in that menu. Okay. So we'll play around with it. We'll see what it kind of happens. Um, I'm surprised we're getting passengers from Collins Estate. A little surprising. Um, yeah, we really just need to get about a... Did you notice the spy? He brought something bucks. useful back to me. See, I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't really like this whole spying aspect of the game. I don't mind having like a competitor that's out there doing stuff, but the whole like spying aspect is not really something I don't think, I think I would really enjoy that much to be perfectly honest. I guess we don't have to participate, but I'm sure we'll be left behind a little bit if we don't. All right, it looks like we could technically grab that one if we had the pre prerequisite text, but we do not. We are delivering grain to Baltimore, but my guess is that eventually it's just going to be full of grain, right? Uh, weekly demand, weekly production. We actually have produced more than we demand at the moment, which is good. Oh, that was I was looking at the wrong thing, I just realized. I was looking at the corn. We're looking up here at the grain. Still, we produce more than we demand, according to that as well. Right, about 100,000 bucks. Can we get us... Old iron size of success. Baldwin test locomotive. All right. Uh, okay, let's go get us a. Uh, uh, let's go get us a bond for a hundred thousand bucks. And then let's come in here to Washington. Oh no! It got bought. Okay. Well, that feels sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. We were just about to grab this. Oh, I'm annoyed by that actually. All right. Whatever. It's good to know that the business will still expand even if we don't, though. Kind of that's kind of information to have. I've sent somebody to you to keep their ears open. Can we expand Thomas breeding to be able to get within range of Lopez Farm by any chance? I'm also not sure if I like the aspect of the personnel that much. I'm not sure if it's kind of like a, I don't know, an extra micromanagement that I don't know if is really that enjoyable based on the like if we were to hire personnel for the whole company that's one thing but hiring personnel for each individual train feels like a kind of a bad mechanic honestly well we got money and I hate the fact that we can't pause either right I guess I could change the options where we could pause but it just feels a little bit clunky not to be able to pause I was in here somewhere Maybe not. All right. Uh, but we can always escape for a second so I can th think for a moment. Uh, we need to... Okay, first off, let's go see what kind of stuff over here we have. We can get us the John Hancock. Currently, we have the John Bull. The John Hancock does not look any better than the John Bull. And the only reason I would get it is to be able to get to this thing anyway. Uh, increasing the reliability of our locomotives feels good. Increasing the power of our locomotives feels, feels good. Both of those are seem like reasonably good options. The North American is a slightly better train that we could get eventually if we wanted to get that instead of the Dunham. I don't know. Increasing reliability feels like a smart move, so we'll grab that. I feel like I don't really have a plan right now, if I had to be perfectly honest. Right, coal, we got... How many trains do we actually have? We only got the two. We just need to set up more trains, don't we? Okay, so one going from Collins Estate to Washington. Which, again, we don't really need to do that, right? We kind of talked about that. We just need to get from Collins Estate to Baltimore, and Baltimore can send it over to Washington. So we need to get a train between Washington and Baltimore. That's really what we need to get done. So let's get us a new train, and we're gonna set up the rail line from Baltimore to Washington. And it's gonna be automatic for now, although we could have an express train just doing passengers, right? But we'll do automatic, and then we'll select us a locomotive. We'll just keep going with um, the John Bull for now. 
Uh, again, I guess if we have an engineer, we could throw it on somewhere. I don't know. I don't really care. Like I said, engineer thing is kind of like, eh, whatever. To me. So that gets us that. And so then really what we would want to do is probably get us a warehouse in Baltimore where we can um, tell it to accept grain. I would have to, oh, the warehouse is different in this game. Okay. See, I was, like I said, I've been watching a lot of uh, Railway Empire 2 videos. And so I guess in Railway Empire 1, it's actually an explicit train station. All right. Well, in that context, we are not going to do it here. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. Okay. It's just a different, different take on things. It's cool. I guess I've been watching too many of both videos and I got confused on which one does what. Uh, so we got that. So in that case, I think we just set up. I actually think we change the Collins estate just to go to Baltimore. I don't think there's any reason to explicitly have it go all the way down to uh, Washington. So we're going to actually modify you. Uh, how do I modify you? Okay. Oh, you're actually still going to Baltimore. You're doing all three. I don't know that we need to do that. So... No, I need to... Okay, actually, I need to do this. So we're just going to go between Collins Estate and Baltimore and assume that the rest of the stuff is going to get down there automatically, if I'm understanding things correctly. And again, I might be confusing Railway Empire 2 with Railway Empire 1. All right, and then what else do we have? We have Wilson Farm to Pittsburgh, which is just the one over here. Okay, that's fine. Lots of little bits and bobs. I don't know that we really need any of this information. Minimum speed on the longest route. If possible, use a more powerful locomotive. Also note that freight cars are five times heavier than passenger and mail cars. Good and information to have. Nothing is loaded at rural stations. The only activity is loading the goods produced. Yeah, that makes sense. And last but not least, demand for imported good cotton has been reduced as the maximum stock level has been reached. Gotcha. So we need to be able to get the, the fabric out of here. That's why we need to get this line set up some way, somehow. And I think we've already determined that the line is going to be quite expensive. Yeah, 1.3 million is insane because it's got to go through a tunnel, right? Got a tunnel there. I mean, there could be a way for us to skirt around it. And reduce the money a little bit. Still got a tunnel through there, though. Yeah. I don't I don't know if I like that. I think just, just draw the tunnel and just accept the, the money is ultimately going to be what we're going to have to do here at some point. Uh, we don't have anything coming from Thomas Breeding right now, so let's get us a, a train line set up from there. Uh, you're going to come from Thomas Breeding. Just come down to Baltimore and then hope the rest of it will get managed from there. And we'll keep going with the John Bull. And let's go with that. Cool. All right, so that works. Takes care of that. Washington, Baltimore has already got a line. And then we need to get one maybe from Baltimore to New York. So one more train line. This was actually going to be a bit of a long one, but we'll hopefully get us some goods kind of going back and forth there. And again, maybe at some point we should set up a uh, more explicit, like, um, a more explicit uh, express line of some sort. But for now, I think this is fine. All right, we got a lot more train lines, got a lot more stuff going on. Still would like to get the Lopez farm in here. Do we actually need vegetables in here anywhere? Um, yeah, you do have a demand. Sorry, uh, demand would be... Yeah, the demand is this one. So you do have a demand for vegetables, for sure. But could we just... Again, I was asking this earlier. I was kind of asking myself this, I guess. Can we just grab... Where is it? The train station. And can we expand this to a point where it will... Like, I won't, I don't know how to know. I guess one thing we could do is we could say, let's build us a regular train station. How, well, how close would that have gotten? It would just barely be outside the range, right? Okay, well, then how about the large train station? Large train station still would not be big enough. We could do the large train station and get both at some point. So if we wanted to change this to a large train station, do we get full money back if we sell? I know, I think in some versions of the game you do. I just don't know if we get the full money back here. But if we do, we might want to consider that 
Uh, that would be demolish. Yeah, we do get full refund. Okay, let's do that. I'm actually going to delete that little bit here. Let's set us up the bigger train station since we do have a little bit of money, not a lot. And we have to do the large train station. I just want to be able to get both of these at the same time. I'm going to try to pull it down further close to here just so we don't have to mess up with the lines that much. But I think something like that is going to be fine. We'll connect I both have businesses. Such a useless station, even from you. And then we're going to delete, uh, sorry, delete uh, some of this. Uh, how do I do the, how did I do the little shift? And shift. Okay, so then oh, I have to delete them separately. Okay. Let's remove. Okay, option use. What about this side? And then can we do this side? Okay, there we go. And then we will set the train lines to come in here. We'll just come to the tr first section. That looks good. And we'll do this one. That looks good. And then we'll do the little crisscross. Okay. That should allow us to do what we need to do here. Perfect. And I'm okay with that. Uh, and now this train should be able to pick up uh, vegetables as well as um, beef or cows or whatever it is. Uh, I'm assuming you're accepting the cows here and turn it into beef and leather. Okay, cool. All right. So that gets us more stuff set up. Um, I'm happy with that. Do we need to get some more stuff set up for Pittsburgh while we're waiting on our train line over here? Maybe we do. I don't think we need a second train line yet. But at some point... I want to get all of this set up, but we just, we don't have enough money. It's, it's so expensive to get across here. Is there, a, it's hard to see now, again, I keep talking about Railway Empire 2 because I've been watching a lot of videos of that because I've just been watching a lot of videos of Railway Empire in general, but I know that there is a topographical like view that you get that helps you like navigate the mountains a little bit better. It's a little hard to see where there might be places to navigate the mountains here. All right, so you've already got a dunham, so you're actually like, the fastest train in the west for, or the east here. Um, we can pick up, okay, we can grab that, but we don't have the connecting bits. I don't know. We're, we're doing all right. We're making money. Um, when do we actually have to buy the, pay the bond back? My spy informed me that you need to urgently clean up your research department. Those secret construction plans are lying all over the place. Are they then? Are they lying over the place? Maybe we just wait for the dunham at this point. It's three miles an hour faster than even this one. So I think that's probably worth waiting for. Do we want to grab any of these other one? Honestly, I think we should just wait for the dunham. Let's just see what we can do with that. Get a little bit more speed here. Again, I don't I don't like this mechanic at all. I know I should be playing this mechanic, but it just doesn't feel fun to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um I just gonna ignore it. I mean maybe I shouldn't, but I just don't care about the Personnel mechanic at all. Parcel drops. These number of packages in each city where your temp company has a station. You know what? We got a little bit of money. We'll bid on this. Okay. Excuse me, but could you keep Happy with that? This. Oh, You're we got driving the price up. Connect bonus, 132,000 bucks. So if we get there by December 30th. We got time. So we could just extend this train line up here to connect there and get some wood into our system. I think that is a great idea. Although we'd have to find a way to get across their train system. And I don't know exactly how that all works out. Um, Do we see them crossing us anywhere? Okay, they're crossing us here. So they just do a little bridge. Okay, so we'll just have to do a bridge. Uh, obviously, a small station should be fine here. Um, We'll do it like that, maybe. And then, um, I want to crisscross here. So, but for now, let me just come out of this line. Looks like we can build a bridge. Okay, perfect. So it'll just do it automatically. It's going to be a bit of an expensive line here. It's got a bit, pretty big incline here, which is not great. Can we, uh, can we raise this? Can we move this to make it better? Um, how do I? Um, 
I don't think there's any way. Are we having to build a tunnel? We're actually building a tunnel. Okay. I mean, it's a little bit weird. I don't know if I like it. Um, it's a pretty steep incline. I don't know if there's much choice in us changing how that's going to work, though. I, I don't know. Let's just get it set up. It's going to get us some money. And we'll just accept. It's not going to be used that much, so I don't think it's going to matter that much. Um, there's not really a way to do this nicer, it looks like. All right, so at least we can connect to both, and then we can get us a train line set to that. It's not going to be great, but we didn't get here first, so I guess it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to go from here to here, and then we're going to set up a locomotive. I guess we'll stick with the John Bull for now, and that will work. That gets a little bit of extra money, presumably, unless I misunderstood something. Did we actually see the money come in? I don't know if I saw the money come in or not, but we do get some stuff going on there. Uh, we need to get us a repair station probably here, I would imagine at this point. Got more stuff coming in through New York area. And so I think that looks good. We got one already in Baltimore, correct? Yeah. Okay. So that looks good to me as well. Alrighty. Um, Stoker. Again, I just don't care. <laughs> Increase the train reliability by 20%, but therefore we just like it at breaking down. Yeah, great. And maybe the best place to put you would be like the... Um, like our really long train between New York and Baltimore, because that's just going to have the most chance of breaking down, right? Oh, missing operating supplies. I forgot about those. Now let's get some supply towers. Uh, can we see the ones we've already got? Oh, actually, do I have any? I got one down there. I didn't put any up here. Oh, got to put one up there. Okay. Let's put one down here. Get trains coming from those directions. Uh, we do have one over there. So this one right here should get some supplies over there, but I guess we could put another supply tower over here just to cover it a bit. And I suppose we'll need one through for up here somewhere. I mean, these supply towers are not cheap, or not free, obviously, so they're paying money for each and every one of those, but kind of need them, right? They're necessary. All right, we do have enough for nothing. No, we're not yet. We need to get one more little tick here. And then we can grab our next train. If we have enough money, we'll upgrade all of our trains at that point. <laughs> we need money to build the train track to Pittsburgh. Feels like that's easier said than done at the moment. Do we have a uh, sugar down here? So do any of our towns need sugar at the moment? Ooh, a Jervis. Somebody's already hit Jervis. Wow. That's impressive. Do we need sugar? We do. There is actually a demand for sugar. Uh, but it's actually getting some, some sugar currently. Technically. Now, is Washington still getting um, a supply of grain? See, according to this, it's not at the moment. I wish I could flag the grain itself. Can I watch the train? Like, what do you got? You just got passengers. Um, is it just a number, like a volume thing? Or is, is, there, is it because we don't have a warehouse here? That it's just never going to do. Okay, so some, some grain just showed up here in Baltimore, right? So we've got a whole bunch of grain here. Is that going to get picked up at all by this other train going to Washington? Meat's getting picked up. But no grain. So I think that's because of the fact that we don't have... Like an, it's not going to a warehouse where it can be like stored for transfer back, right? Security guard might be one of the few things we should hire. Although I think this goes on a train too, doesn't it? Prevents bandit attacks on trains. I see, yeah, I don't care. I should care, but I don't. Um, so it looks like we just never... The grain just doesn't go further. Because without a warehouse system... So I don't. How do we do that in this version of the game then? That is a good question. Along its route, each locomotive also requires a supply tower, so you can... Yeah, I've got supply towers all over here, so I think we're okay. What can I do if your employees can't resist my candy? Task is about to expire here. Oh, make Baltimore Pittsburgh. We're just never going to finish this one. It's just too expensive. There's got to be a cheaper way to do it, though, right? I can't imagine that they want us to spend a million and a half just to make this connection, but I'm sure I'm missing it somewhere, and I don't see... I'm trying to look through the trees and look through the... How all this looks, I mean, one of the best ways to do it would be just go along the river, because the river's going to have a natural valley, right? But 
it's very windy and I don't think there's an easy way for us to do that. Uh, we could join jump up to the Dunham. It's faster trains. You can drive this locomotive straight to the scrapyard. Uh, and so we can replace all of our locomotives. will soon be a dense rail network on the East Coast, but not yours. Okay, so we'll have to restart this chapter, which is fine. I mean, how many times do I have to restart Railroad Corporation? Quite a few times. In 1830, the... But now that I learned a few things, right? We did spend... Been waiting for to be fair... I'm Philip Evan I, Thomas. I did say that... My dream to build a railroad. Excuse me, Philip Thomas. Uh, I did say that... Um, I made some mistakes, and I thought we were going to have to restart. I just kind of wanted to play it out and see where we got. But it does make sense now that we, you know restarting is going to make a lot of sense. First of all, I have two tasks for you in order to build a base from where we can monitor further activities. But as I learned back... All right, we're going to put a cut in there, though. Uh, we played a little bit further. We learned a few more things. I got to understand the warehousing system in this version of the game uh, and exactly how that's going to work to be able to pass materials on from... Yeah, like I said, Baltimore to Washington and whatnot. So I'll play around with it a little bit. We'll see if we can figure it out. And we'll have a much better run this time, I believe. So I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.